All right, Hasses. So in this video, I want to talk to you about variables and also nesting if we have time. So this is my website right now. All I have is a heading and a paragraph. Look how beautiful that looks. And I also have a link to this main.css file. Now this is just a regular CSS file that we're including, but we don't even have it created yet. The only other file that we created is the SAS file. And any SAS file that we create has the SCSS extension. So let's go ahead and learn how to use variables. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be changing this heading and the paragraph to both use green. But instead of just writing it like normal, I'm gonna show you guys a cool way to do it. So I'm just gonna name my green any variable name I want. And anytime you make a variable, use the dollar sign in the variable name. So your variable name can be letters and numbers or hyphens or the minus sign. Just, you can name it pretty much anything you want. Just don't include any weird symbols like um, percent signs or like at symbols or hashtags or anything stupid like that. So just stick with like letters and numbers and hyphens, you'll be good. So I'm gonna name mine primary color. You can name it tuna, bucky, whatever you want. And then add a colon and then after, give it a regular value just like you're typing normal CSS. Now, actually, let me just go ahead and write green to make things really easy to understand. So now, instead of the actual value, the actual word green, whenever we wanna include this color anywhere, we can just use this variable. So let me add it for, what's this, heading one and paragraphs. So I'll say heading one, and let me copy this. And I'll say color is this. And what this means is since this is a placeholder for green, you're pretty much gonna look at this and say, okay, for heading one, the color equals green. Now, let me just do this for the paragraph as well. And I know I can put both of these on the same lines and make it more efficient, but I just wanna demonstrate that you can actually have this variable in several different locations. So now what's gonna happen is our compiler, and remember I already, I already have one built in, is it's gonna look at this and translate it into regular CSS. So if I expand this, it auto-generated this file. So I pretty much took that variable and replaced it with green everywhere we used it. So now, if I refresh this page, it now turned to green. Now the cool thing about this is before before we learn about um, SCSS or SAS, if we ever wanted to change this color, then we would have to go through all of our files, find this instance of green, and say we wanted to change it to red. So I'd have to go right here, and let me add a semicolon, it's bothering me, and change it to red, and here change it to red. And this color, I know in this example, you know, we only used it in two different spots, but usually we use it like in 30 different spots whenever we're making an actual website. But now, if our boss comes in and is like, hey, change the color, we only have to change it in this spot, such as that, and it automatically updates in every single place we have the variable. So check that out. It's a lot more efficient, especially when you have multiple files. 